All right, it looks like we have gone live, and I'm going to actually drive my own show right here um, using this phone. So we're here at Dallas Vintage Toys in Dallas, Texas, off of Forest Gate Drive. It's nearby Skillman in the 635 in Skillman area in North Dallas. And uh, today we have something incredible, um, something that's amazing, and I want to show you guys. Check this out. This is an incredible, original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy collection. Uh, and I have more action figures than you even remember there was action figures. Uh, I think this is going to blow your mind. So if you can give me uh, you know, a few minutes of your time here, or you can come back later and watch on replay, I'm going to take you down a trip on Memory Lane to show you Ninja Turtles figures brand new in the package, just like they were. Uh, 28 years ago and your mind's about to be blown okay so let's take a look together and see so uh, I'm gonna pull all these figures in and show you so first off right here PandaCon some of you guys will remember uh, PandaCon Panda was uh, he was a good guy and he was basically the original Kung Fu Panda And then, of course, we can't forget Master Splinter. Master Splinter was, the, of course, uh, the sensei of the Ninja Turtles. And this is an original 10-back card. And this is exactly how they were uh, in 1988. And I want to point out right here on top, you see there's no hole punch there. That means that this toy actually never made it on the shelf. So somebody way back in 1988 decided, I'm going to buy this toy uh, and keep it deliberately to sell it in the future. And it turns out when they would sell it, it would end up being 2016. So here it is. Hey, what about Pizza Face? You guys, you guys remember Pizza Face, right? So here, here's Pizza Face. Muckman. Some of you guys I think might remember Muckman. Uh oh, we can't forget about the Rat King. The Rat King uh, controlled the evil mousers. Okay. Napoleon Bonafrog. Napoleon Bonafrog. Yeah, Stephen Durkey's watching, and you know what? You're in the UK, which is pretty funny, because in the UK these are called Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, because people in the UK didn't like the word ninja. I think that's a funny story. Hero Turtles. Ray Filet. Do you guys remember Ray, Ray Filet? Uh oh, here's here's a favorite. Yo Jimbo. The Kung Fu Rabbit. Sewer Samurai Leo. And here here's one of the classics. Casey Jones. Casey Jones. You guys remember him in the original movie? Casey Jones was awesome character, awesome toy too. Fugitive Toy. Fugitive Toy was a cyborg. Don't worry, you got a, I got a lot more for you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in live with me here on a beautiful Wednesday. General, General Tregg. General Tregg. Uh-oh, and here's one of the originals. Donatello. Who here likes Donatello? Any, Don, any Donatello fans out there watching? 
So Donatello, this is the original uh, 10 characters that came out. And you know the original 10 because when you look on the back here, you can see clearly that there's uh, in the yellow box, there's the six good guys, and in the purple box is the four bad guys. Six plus four is 10. So originally in 1988, there was just these 10 figures. So this is what you call like a 10 back Ninja Turtles. These are the original ones right here. And you can see again, this one's not punched at the top, which means it was never on a shelf. The peg never went through this hole. Uh, this toy obviously was never even uh, sold to a child because it was never even opened. Yes. Yes, Donatello is the purple one. Actually, he's the green one, but yeah, you know what I mean. He, wear, he wears a purple, <laughs> purple uh, bandana. So here's Metalhead. He's a good guy. Metal Turtle. This guy was cool because he had like a, a kind of like a chrome finish that I thought was neat. Uh oh, here he is. The one. It's Michelangelo. Michelangelo, also one of the original ten figures. He's a party dude. Everyone's favorite Ninja Turtle, Michelangelo. Uh oh, guys, here's one of the bad guys. It's Rocksteady. Rocksteady uh, teamed up with Bebop. Uh, he was prominent in the cartoon show and in all the video games, but he was never in the original live action movies. Uh, Rocksteady and Bebop never made it into the Ninja Turtles movies until just this year, 2016, with Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. They finally put them in a live action film, which I thought was actually pretty cool. Okay, I love this one. Check this out. This is Undercover Don. Undercover Don had a trench coat, and you guys will remember that um, you know uh, Raphael went out in a trench coat in the original Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah, you know, um, Chaz, I don't know why the quality is bad. It might be the lighting in this room that is all fluorescent, and also because I think I might be running on one or two bars of LTE. So the way the Mevo cam works, I think it kind of throttles the quality based on how much bandwidth it gets and deep here inside this store I may only have a little bit of uh, bandwidth unfortunately. Here's the Sewer Samurai Leo. I always love this one. This one's cool. Mike the Sewer Surfer. This one was really neat because he had like a little penguin. He had like little uh, like sharks there on his shoulders. I thought that one was neat. Yeah, chances the quality is HD for him, Chaz. Maybe it's just you, buddy. Triceraton. You guys remember Triceraton? He's like the uh, the battle Triceratops, the orange skin. I can't believe how many figures are here. This is crazy. Oh, check this out. The original, this is hard to find actually. This is the original 10 back April O'Neil. And she's uh, she's unique because she's just wearing the solid yellow jumpsuit. They made a lot more of the version with the blue stripe on the leg. This is a lot easier to find. Yeah, Chaz, maybe it's because you're on an iPhone. Maybe you should get an Android, Chaz. <laughs> Gotta have foot soldiers. Gotta have these foot soldiers. Uh, the foot soldiers are the evil henchmen. Um, in the live action movies, they were like renegade kids and sort of like runaways. But in the cartoon series and the video games, they were uh, a combination of alien and android. So whenever you blew them up, they actually like, they would physically explode and there'd be like fire. In, if I say physically, in the game. Talk about the Ninja Turtles arcade game. Oh, here he is. The evil leader of the Foot Clan. Master Shredder! <laughs> so this is an original 1988 10 back Master Shredder. Uh, this one figure, by the way, if you guys are wondering, if you guys are just curious about, uh, about this kind of stuff, this one figure right here is worth about $100 in the condition that it's in. So, and the reason why this is worth $100 is because it's an original 10-back uh, Ninja Turtle toy uh, because it's Shredder, uh, because this is unpunched up here, so this is a great condition sealed on the original card, and that's just about how much they're worth now. So, uh, so right here, uh, $100 for this 
one toy shredder and I've already shown you probably like 25 or 30 so if you're wondering this collection is certainly worth thousands of dollars which honestly to me that's fascinating I think it's fascinating that Ninja Turtle toys are worth thousands of dollars which is why I'm showing this to you guys live so check this out right here it's the leader Leonardo original 1988 tin back Leonardo brand new on the card right here 28 years later boom a lot of people's favorite Raphael Raphael is the muscle he's the attitude he's cool but rude it's Raphael here Mondo Gecko this guy has surfboard or sorry skateboard Mondo Gecko was uh, one of the supporting characters, uh, pretty much only in the toys. Genghis Frog. The Genghis Frog, kind of like Genghis Khan, but Genghis Frog. He's a crime fighting frog. And here you go. It's Bebop, yo. Bebop. Bebop is uh, Rocksteady's accomplice in crime or the evil master shredder. Okay. We're almost done here. Thanks for tuning in here on a Wednesday. Check it out. It's Leatherhead. Leatherhead was a crocodile. But I like that he wore a hat. He was like a Cajun... Cajun crocodile with a hat because, uh, you know, like Cajun crocodiles, you know, they wear like, uh, you know, jeans and a hat because why not? All right, here he is, the bad guy, Baxter Stockman. Baxter was an evil inventor and uh, he created a bunch of robotic creations for the Foot Clan. He was also in the, uh, the, the newest movie that came out this year. Check it out, Slash. Evil Turtle for Dimension X. You guys remember the Slash? I'm running out of room here on this table. Mutagen Man. Check out Mutagen Man. Mutagen Man was a really cool character. Um, I think the toy is really neat because if you, when you look here, you could see that you could see through it. So it had some clear pieces here. Um, so it's like a normal action figure plus sort of like a like an ant farm type of toy. And I thought that that was pretty clever of them to do and I remember playing with this as a kid. I really liked it a lot. A few more figures to go. The Scumbug. Scumbug uh, was another bad guy. Okay. Wingnut and Screw Loose. They started getting pretty creative with these, uh, with these names. Wingnut and Screw Loose. Um, but these were actually, uh, these are good guys. These guys uh, hung out with the uh, Ninja Turtles. Two more. Oh, here's Space Cadet Raphael. And if you guys know anything about Ninja Turtles, you know that um, as time went on, uh, they eventually got kind of crazy with all the different variations. They would do like Desert Storm Leonardo or basketball playing Michelangelo or whatever. Uh, it got pretty crazy on into the 90s. Uh, and this is sort of like the tip of the iceberg for that. So here's Raphael in a space suit. And the last one I have to show you today, of course, the evil one, Krang. Uh, and Krang had an android body, which I don't have here uh, for this video. But, uh, you know, Krang the brain would go inside the android body. And um, he was also prominent in the video games and especially the uh, cartoon show. So I thought Krang was pretty cool. But I wanted to show you all this today, uh, mostly guys, because, um, you know, obviously Ninja Turtles is something that matters to me. I think it's something that's culturally a part of uh, America. And I think uh, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird uh, came up with a super cool franchise. Um, and you know it's super cool because it's still here today. A lot of stuff comes and goes. It's neat for a while and it's gone. Uh, man, Ninja Turtles is just a part of popular culture in 2016 as it was uh, in 1988. So I'm really, really pleased 
um, with Ninja Turtles and a new generation of Ninja Turtles fans is coming into this. I think that's really neat. Um, and also to see all these toys like this, to see um, this many brand new old toys still in the box, still on the card, it's incredibly rare to see even a single one of these. If you guys came across one of these at a at a pawn shop, or I don't know, a pawn shop would have them, but if you were like at a garage sale or an estate sale, um, and somebody had something like this, this would be exceptionally lucky of you, because something like this would be worth anywhere from $40 to $100, just the one piece. Um, and so to have, uh, you know, 60 of them here in one store, this is insane. It's, it's basically the collection of a lifetime. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I thought you might appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you like this video, subscribe for more and uh, tune in next time. Share it with your nerdy friends or not. I don't care. All right. So, and for those of you wondering, oh, and I'm trying to turn it off. This was.